a 2006 Kia Sportage with a 2.7 liter V6 engine in it. I'm going to show you how to remove the flywheel uh, from the crank in order to gain access to the timing belt so you can change it out. I would not suggest using uh, impact on this because you could damage that engine by means of, of distorting the connecting rod bearings. This particular engine, there's two different configurations. You've got one where you've got these, uh, these holes right here. Those are made for a spanner wrench. You've got another configuration where you've got a socket that will go inside of there, which is this right here. Of course, in this case, I can't use it, so I have to have this special tool here. Um, in this case, I've got a serpentine belt uh, tool that's made by Craftsman. You pick it up at Sears, I think it's around 29 bucks. Essentially has this piece, this piece, and then that rack of sockets. I've added this stud here, and I have added this stud here. These studs are 390 thousandths diameter, and uh, I had to drill a hole here, quarter of an inch. It's about six inches down from the end, and I had to drill one here, six inches down from the end. That's a quarter of an inch. And this hole here, there was an existing hole. I had to open it up. It was it was a quarter of an inch. Uh, I had to open it up to four hundred thousandths of an inch to be able to put that bolt in. But these holes won't create any distortion or any issues with these rod, with these bars. Um, like I said, it's just for serpentine belt. So, and then this handle here. Uh, when I get done with it, I'll be able to pull the studs out, and I can use it for multi-use, change them out, do whatever. But I'll be able to put the handle back on it. The great thing about that tool is. It's multi-purpose. It doesn't take up as much space in your toolbox, but it does take a couple of seconds to assemble and create. So good luck to you. And I would not suggest using an impact.